Hey everyone, it's Monica from My Big Camera. In this video, we will be showing you how to pose and photograph a four month old baby. This is actually part one of a two part series, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when we release the second part. So let's get into it. The first pose is sitting supported. This is the first pose that we like to do for a four month session. This is a great one to do if the parents bring the baby already dressed in an outfit that they would like the baby to be photographed in. We use this little seat prop which is sort of similar to a bumbo chair but without the middle support to sit baby in as it has really good back support for babies. We like to use it for babies that are between two and five months old and aren't sitting up on their own yet. It's a great prop to use if there are siblings that will be part of the photo as well. Just be sure to have a spotter close by because baby can fall forward if they get excited. We bought this seat prop off of AliExpress. Let me know if you're interested in the exact one we got down in the comments and I'll find the link for you. The next pose is sitting in a prop. After the seat prop, we transition to a prop like a tall crate or bucket that baby can sit upright in. This is a great pose to highlight the baby's ability to hold up their head. However, keep in mind that every baby is different and if a baby keeps slouching forward or sliding down, it's best to skip this pose. Make sure you have one of the parents or a spotter close by in case baby slides down or comes forward suddenly as you don't want the baby to bump their face on the edge of the prop. Four month old babies cannot sit unsupported so make sure that you have something behind them. We're actually using a pool noodle for support along the back corner of the crate as you can see here. You can also use posing beans, some small towels or a blanket to provide support. The next pose is tummy. Four month old babies can usually support themselves nicely while on their tummy. However, every baby is different and not all babies love being on their tummies. The difference between a three and four month old baby is that at four months old, babies have a greater tendency to flail out their arms, try to eat their hands or things in front of them. And sometimes they can even roll over. So make sure you have a spotter close by to adjust the baby and prevent them from rolling over. My suggestion is to always have several setups prepared and be ready to improvise and go with the flow based on what baby wants to do. The next pose is back. Poses on baby's back are the safest and most comfortable for four month old babies to do. Most four month old babies are very happy on their back and love to kick their feet. You can pose the baby on just a fur rug on the ground and shoot directly above them or pose them in a low bowl or crate. We're using a trench bowl here which I just love to use as it's so versatile. This bowl is from a Canadian vendor called Props and Drops Canada in case you're interested. I'll leave the link to her website in the description. One difference between three and four month old babies is that four month old babies are starting to explore their hands more so you might need to constantly bring their hands down from their mouth and then try to get their attention again. When posing the baby in a prop, use some posing beans to prop up their head and allow their feet to dangle over the edge. Smiling is another milestone for three and four month old babies. So be sure to try to capture some because those are the images that the parents will always love and want to buy. Use a toy that rattles or makes noise to get their attention and hopefully catch some smiles. The next pose is swaddled. This pose might be a tricky one at four months old, but if the baby starts rubbing their eyes and yawning and is starting to get fussy, ask the parents if baby likes to be swaddled. Our daughter loves being swaddled to go to sleep. So I wrapped her in two long stretchy wraps to make sure she was nice and snug and then rocked her for a minute. She fell asleep and we were able to get several poses from her while she was swaddled and while she napped. 
Again, you just need to go with the flow. I definitely didn't expect to get any swaddle shots of her at four months, but she fell asleep very easily, which made it really easy to get some nice sleeping shots of her. For this bucket, I had initially planned a sitting shot, but again, I just improvised and used it for a swaddle shot instead. The main challenge is their size. A four month old baby is definitely much bigger than a newborn, so you can't pose them in the same props that you would with a newborn baby. Also, the bottom half of their body tends to look quite large and bulky, so try to get the bottom part of their body to be lower than their head if possible to reduce the bulk. You can also shoot from above their head at a 45 degree angle so the bottom part of their body looks smaller and becomes more blurred out or just come in for some close-ups of the baby's sweet sleeping face. If baby stays sleeping, I don't want to wake them and make them cranky so I'll do as much as possible while they're still wrapped so I don't disturb them. Here we tried her on a moon prop. Obviously she's a bit big for the moon, but since she's swaddled, it still works and parents would love this pose in their gallery since it adds some nice variety. But as a disclaimer, you must have a spotter that has their hand on baby and only lifts their hand up for a few seconds to take the shot. You would then need to edit out the arm in Photoshop. You can ask a parent to do this. Never leave a baby like this unattended. If you cannot do this shot safely, don't even try to attempt it. You never want to put a baby in any danger of falling. You can also do some poses on the beanbag, which we will be covering in the part two video of this two-part series. For more poses, check out our two-part series for posing three-month-olds. I hope that this video was helpful and that it provided you with some inspiration for your next four-month photo shoot. Please give this video a like if you want to see more posing videos like this. And just as a reminder, if you want our free Photoshop actions that we use every day for editing portraits and newborns, I'll leave the download link for them in the description. Keep an eye out for part two of this two-part series coming next week. If you'd like to be notified when it's released, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon too so that you're notified as soon as we upload it. That's it for this video. Bye for now and remember, keep creating.